Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 13, Introduction to IoT, dealing with processing offloading. Come, let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. So, processing offer or uh, offloading. It is actually uh, important for developing a densely deployable, energy conserving miniature and very cheap iot based solution so only for deploying all these we use processing offloading so this processing offloading deployment it is of various layers where that are encountered in different application domains it is not that for a particular domain it processing offloading is used for it is completely uh, into different application domain like uh, it can uh, it can have a cloud based infrastructure so so starting from primary layer of sensing we have multiple sensing types for detecting an environment let it be an event of fire or so, uh, you, uh, for catching somebody through camera or um, detecting a temperature outside the uh, atmosphere so for all these we use it so the sensors in enabling all these kind of sensing types will be integrated with the processor. So this integration with the processor can be of two types. Either it can be wired or wireless connection. Certain applications actually require immediate processing. Like on-site processing topologies we saw, right? Such kind of things will, will expect the application uh, to be uh, highly responsive. Uh, response that is high responses it should be given so for that see here we are considering an event fire on surveillance so for both these we will obviously sense fire is sensed by te temperature sensor this can be uh, uh, done by camera sensor temperature sensor will sense the temperature outside the atmosphere when a fire is happening and so this is local processing so after sensing it goes to the sensor node and then to the cluster of nodes then it is contacting the server that is internet or database and then globally it is transmitted so now what happens is to this communication to occur you should have the communication either wired or wireless so to from here to here it can be wired or wireless from here to here till here you can have short range of wireless you can try for wireless communication but it with the bandwidth of very small bandwidth and from here to here your uh, uh, bandwidth increases la uh, long range and finally when it globally happens it should obviously have a backbone network working at the back of it right it can be wired also till global now actually we have moved to wireless so we are using wireless technologies so now for majority of the application iot application the bulk of processing is carried out remote remotely so what i told it is wireless we have moved into wireless so it is remotely done uh, whether it is uh, the device is simple small or econ economical it is remotely done at areas so we have seen on-site and off-site processing. When you take off-site processing, the data from the sensing layer, the sensor is sensing, no, from that layer, it is forwarded to the cloud. And the cloud will have the uh, contents within it, within the layer. And th that layer is said to be the edge layer. This edge layer will make use of the device with local networks only with local networks why it want to make use of the device with local network because it process the data like collaborative processing topology collaborative you will collaborate each and every nodes finally to form a big topology so the device within local network will communicate with short range of wireless connection that is what i told you with when it is a very short distance you can use short range wireless technology if it is for a long range then you will be using wireless technology and you will be enabling a backbone network finally when it is globally done only a backbone network should support the complete system so this is what is happening so fog nodes is nothing but the sensor nodes which at the level of gateways may be accessed or may not be accessed by the iot devices 
uh, even though the internet is there it might you might be able to access or you might not be able to access so next this data offloading is divided into three types so why it is divided into three types is this approach is actually used for forwarding the data to the cloud server that is remotely to access remotely we are using the data that is pushed to the cloud so that requires the device to be connected through internet whether it is short range or long range wired or wireless it should be connected to the ne network so this is actually costly considering this network bandwidth when it is for long transmission network bandwidth will be on the higher side you will have high latency complexity of the device is increased complexity is increased and obviously infrastructure of the network is also on the higher side high infrastructure is required for doing all this deploying all this so for that it is divided into three offload location it is nothing but where all the processing can be offloaded in the architecture next is offload this decision that is this will decide how to choose where to offload the processing and where in the sense uh, when is when it is offloading at a particular place how much data can be offloaded all these can be decided by offload decision and offload consideration is nothing but it is deciding when you have to off offload the data so these are the three types that the data offloading has so offload location so you have edge fog remote server cloud these are the four kinds of location we have to deliver the data so what is edge edge is nothing but this offload processing to the edge means it is nothing but the data processing is facilitated to a location that location can be either near to the source of data generation itself so this offloading to the edge is actually done by aggregation it it achieves aggregation manipulation and also the bandwidth reduction because it is deciding whether it is near to the data generation or the data generation itself and next is fog this fog computing is nothing but it is a decentralized commute uh, computing infrastructure this decentralized computing infrastructure will be utilized to, to conserve the data bandwidth it will reduce the latency and it will also restrict the amount of data flowing through the internet so when you are restricting all these it will be enabling the uh, uh, immediate response or mobility of the iot devices so the data computing storage and application will be shifted to a place between a data source and a cloud so when it is done like that it will result in reduced latency and the network bandwidth will be sufficiently used next is remote server so remote server is nothing but it will have a good processing power and it may be used by any kind of iot applications to offload the processing from the resource constraint to iot devices so this remote server will have rapid scalability this rapid scalability what happens is it is an issue with the remote server that is it might be costlier and it is very hard to maintain the solution like uh, if if you if you are handling with cloud it is very hard to maintain the complete cloud server right you will have n number of data next is cloud so cloud computing is nothing but it is a configurable computer system which gets the access to configure resources platforms and some high level services through a pool through a host which is done remotely and this cloud what happens is for pro process offloading what it does is the processing resources can be rapidly provisioned with very minimal effort over the internet which can be accessed globally so only when all the data is dumped into this cloud it is accessed globally 
so what this cloud does is it enables a massive scalability of the solution so they uh, it can make available of resource enhancement allocated uh, uh, why resource uh, enhancement is done the user or the solution which is working on may demand more than what he requires so all these can be acquired and configured and uh, when you see about the cost of cloud cloud computing it is obviously on the higher side right so thank you, stay tuned for more information.